It'd be great to get some variety having someone eating while they're doing it. Yeah, man. We don't have that yet, so. Uh, this is our big store. I'm giving it to you, man. So fuck you. <laughs> Right now, we're packaging things in music like rock and roll. The music's on a stage. We're in the audience. And we, we go in and we look at it and we say, what do we think of this? And we don't realize it. The music is not making us do that. The venue, the situation, the stage, the lights. If you go in a gallery, it's the same thing. You go in the gallery, it's this, this space that may, it forces you to go in front of the art and say, what do I think of this? So you become like, you become the judge of the work. That's why so many people that say, oh, I don't know anything about art. Well, they're reacting to that. They're reacting to the pressure that they feel that they're supposed to know, you know? You go in front of it and you're like, well, what do I think of it? Well, you know, uh, Picasso for you know, his blue period, you know? And so, you know, the layman is like, totally uncomfortable because it's this experience is forcing them to be the judge but you know you don't go in a Japanese garden and sit in front of the tree and say what do I think of you yeah. but it's a highly man-made space so there the ambience is doing something else the, amb the container is freeing you you know it's like this place where you can go you stretch out your feet you, you know you look at the gravel maybe you put your hands in the gravel you hear the trees breeze, rustle the tree, and then the bird flies. And, but you're thinking about yourself, you know, oh, you know, that fight I had with my grandmother, you know? And that's, when, that's where I think art is, is trying to get to with these multimedia events, is to free itself from this, you know, what do I think of it? People want to make paintings, and there's nothing wrong with paintings, but, you know, they want to show them in some place that isn't, control you know controlling the audience like somewhere living the way art was thousands of years ago you know it was like part of a ceremony you know so we're searching where is the ceremony and that's what was cool about the rave scene is it, it was often three four five six rooms of music so you were always free if if the three of us went you might go oh, I'm gonna go to the chill out room oh I'm gonna go listen to drum and bass I'm gonna go you know so everyone misses is always missing five things you know you never get to see it all and then it becomes more about what what you uh, was the was the whole experience good the experience of the night not oh well I liked so-and-so set you know chemical brothers they were hot you know it it doesn't get it's not really about the art and I think that's why it's so hard for people to accept it because it they feel a bit lost, you know. If you build an environment and everyone sticks their work in there and then there's no tags, no one knows whose is what, and you know. So artists have a resistance to this recontextualizing of their work because they get lost too, you know. Right. So. So just trying to break the border lines between the actual performers and the artists, the, the audience themselves. Yeah. The audience is the performer, you know, the ultimate performer and how do you get them to interact with each other. I think art can really inspire people, but not in a political sense, not, not like making paintings about apartheid, you know. It's more about uh, how does it bring us together and make us think in a way where we have you know, some hope in ourselves, you know, something, something that we see like it's, it's positive, you know, rather than going and seeing art and getting a lecture, you know. I think, that, you know, I, don't get me wrong, I think the galleries are great. Right. It's more about our generation adding to the kinds of ways we experience work. And I think that that's, we have something really to offer, you know. It's been clear for me in the last 10 years, these really cool things happen in the underground, in, in cities like Riga or somewhere, these industrial cities where they'll have these crazy parties that develop into this scene and then by the time the media comes it's too late you know the gentrification has come the party's long over so it's very hard for these ideas to be really seen in the above ground world you know so what we get above ground is chemical brothers on a giant stage and we're thinking oh this is electronic music or Moby you know though this is what happened to to dance culture became 
Moby in a stadium. Right. You know, it, so people are like, this is silly. You know, it's, what is this? This is rock and roll. It, you know, it's not offering me anything new. So I think the failure is really the promoter. It's not the art itself. It's how do we recontextualize this work, you know? How do we put it in a new, in a new container, in a new form that, that liberates the audience instead of always trying to find some way to cash in, you know?